So let's talk about DACT. How did the Typhoon fare against, you know, the F-15s, F-16s, like you mentioned before? Do you know, it was one of the things I most enjoyed was flying the Typhoon and DACT, having been a Jaguar pilot, <laughs> yeah. where um, it was great fun, the Jag, in, in, in air combat because you're still pulling G, turning, jets going everywhere, you're going upside down. But you, your, your mindset was always, how am I gonna try and survive yeah. this merge? And so you go into it thinking, right, if we just go toe to toe and fight this symmetrically, you're probably gonna lose. And so you were using things like, um, if you were doing not just air combat, but, but, but doing a kind of tactical sort of, you try and ingress low, hide behind the terrain. Um, if you're doing an air combat fight, you'd try and come out of the sun. Um, you'd try and do um, you know, a rapid descent, maybe to try and get the other pilots to lose tally. You're always using those kind of slightly defensive postures and right. tactics to try and give yourself an advantage to maybe get a fleeting shot. Mm -hmm. And you did occasionally, people would have success stories, you know, if you did a week of air combat and they're doing lots of flying against an F-16, someone might get a shot off against an F-16 and that was celebrated. But it was very much, you know, not the norm. Um, still good fun. Mm -hmm. But you, you, you thought you're never a very well placed in a Jag. But then going into a Typhoon, it was the complete opposite. And I remember once um, trying to shake an F-15 off my tail in a Jaguar. And I was over the North Sea. That's and a really story in the book. Th this thing was, yeah, on my six o'clock. And I thought, right, I'll overbank and I'll pull. Now I'm going to roll and pull. I did the most aggressive maneuvering I thought I could possibly get away with. Rolled out, looked behind, and it was just sat there, in almost in close formation. I thought, it was pointless, so I just rolled out. So I was yeah. like, right, well, you'll get bored in a minute and go away. And in the Typhoon, it was, it was the opposite. Um, we used to fly against the F-15s quite a lot. And it was good training for them because they were flying against another high performance uh, fighter. And it was very satisfying taking brand new students on the OCU when I was uh, teaching there. And you go to merge with an F-15, an airplane that they've been taught is a very effective combat fighter. And uh, go to the merge, just full back stick in the Typhoon and then put the burners in and, and they will beat it. Mm -hmm. within 60 seconds every time if they fight the aeroplane right and there should be no surprise and there's any f-15 pilots oh, watching oh. <laughs> you know it's the f-15 is a, a fantastic fighter you know for decades was the go-to fighter and and it's an amazing aeroplane um, and it's you know it's been replaced now by the f-22 in that in that corner of what's the best aeroplane out there and the f-22's got that now in terms of air defense um, and that's great, it's just a generational thing, so it's not, you know, it's not, not a criticism of the F-15, but it's, it was a fantastic aeroplane, the Typhoon, for, for air combat. And taking someone who's only got maybe 10 or 15 hours Typhoon, putting them up against a 2,000 hour F-15 pilot and watching them win in air combat. Really? Oh yeah, um, was, was, was great, very eye-opening. Yeah. Did you ever get the chance to go up in there against an F-22? Um, I haven't personally flown an F-22 uh, against an F-22, um, but I was on the squadron when we were doing lots of air combat against them, and the, the day I was due to do it, I can't remember what happened, when the aircraft broke and it, it didn't happen. But I think it's a really good fight. I mean, the F-22 is the best air dominance fighter in the world. Beyond visual range, it's fantastic with its low observable capabilities, and then when it gets into the close fight, um, you know, it's hugely manoeuvrable with the thrust vectoring, very, very capable. Um, you really wouldn't want to meet it for real. The Typhoon in the F-22 uh, does have a good fight though. And the Typhoon has got, when it starts at the, uh, at, at the first merge, when you're ro rolling in at 450 knots, you've got 9G available and you've got a helmet mounted sight. You're not badly placed in the Typhoon to, yeah. take a, to take a quick shot. But as soon as that fight starts to uh, develop, and the aircraft start to lose energy, then the F-22 is really well placed. It's a fantastic machine. Yeah, absolutely.